Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix your issue. One red light, beeping sound. This particular model, when I do step on it, which I'm gonna show you in just a second, this is kind of a beefier model, nice big tires. But for the smaller versions with the smaller tires, this is gonna work for you guys as well. So let me briefly show you what's happening here. Let me go ahead and turn on the power button here. And it's gonna go ahead and blink on me. I have one green light here. Now everything is good to go until I put my foot on it, one red, and then it stays red like that after I do it. And of course, that's pretty annoying. So let's go ahead and turn it off and let me show you how to fix that here. Now, what's crazy about this is where I live, I live around a lot of people who have the mindset of not wanting to research and find out how to fix it. So I actually found this dumpster diving last night. I have another full channel where I show you all my dumpster diving finds and awesome things that rich people throw out. That is always linked in the description box below. But anyway, back to the video. So I got this for free, did not come with a charger, but still has juice obviously. And they literally threw it away because of this. After doing a little bit of research, I found out how to fix it and I'm going to show you right now. First thing you want to do is you want to go to a level surface. So anywhere in your garage, cement on the sidewalk, anywhere where it's completely level. And then we want these nice and even here like this. Okay. Now with this completely leveled out here, I turned it off. And so the red light obviously is off. Now we're going to go ahead and hold down the power button for about five, eight seconds or so. We're going to see blinking lights here. You guys, if you have lights here or here in front, you're gonna see a series of blinking. And what's happening is it's calibrating the gyro inside of the hoverboard. So again, we're gonna go ahead and start pushing down. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. There's our blinking lights on both sides there. I'm gonna go ahead and hold it down just for a few more seconds. Then what you wanna do is you wanna turn off the hoverboard and then turn it back on and it should work perfectly fine. You again recalibrated the gyro and I'm charging mine right now. Stay tuned, if that did not fix your problem, we're gonna go into more detail. If that did not fix your issue and it's still beeping and flashing, Unfortunately, we have some loose wires. We do have to take it apart, so let's go ahead and do that. Yours might be a little different than mine, but it should be very similar. All right, so next step is we have to remove all these screws here. You're gonna need a nice, long Phillips screwdriver here. Looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's go ahead and remove those screws pull off this backing here. All right, after you've loosened the screws, they might pop out, they might not. The cover just comes right off like that. But be careful because you do have some cords plugged in the bottom here, which we're gonna have a closer look at. Okay, I have the back screwed off here. Now I have, of course, pulled a few little wires here. I will show you a couple things that you want to look out for on your self-balancing hoverboard here. Now, here is your gyroscopes right here, your boards for that here and here. So what you wanna do is you wanna check all these components here. You wanna go ahead and unlatch them, put them in, but see if any of those are loose, like making sure they're seated correctly. The ones to my lights are having trouble clipping in, but the lights are working, but these ones should clip in. You should hear an actual click. Also check any of the lines that are going in here. This is my charging port one I've disconnected which is right over here as well. I'm actually experiencing a very small red dot blinking light right where my fingernail is right there. I believe my issue is a bad motherboard. You can pick these up pretty cheap. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt because we're gonna have to actually disconnect all the wires, fish it through, unscrew all the screws, pull that out, fish it back in and do it all over again. But that is the worst case scenario. Again, on this side, same thing. Make sure you're attached nice and tightly here. These are together, everything looks good. And if you don't see any loose connections, most likely it is a bad gyroscope board or a bad main board. I've actually found a few. I will try to link them in the description box below, but you can get a whole set, two gyroscopes, even the lights going up to the foot pads and the main board for a round ballpark, 26 to $30 or so. Again, I will try to link that in the description box below. So again, there is a few options for you to be able to diagnose, and I will try my best to have a full video about replacing that. You guys have a great day. Take care. 
Look in the description box below again. Smash that thumbs up button if it has helped you and subscribe so you guys can see that full video. I will see you on the next one. My name's Chris. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.